Oh my gosh, now there's three. Okay. Arthur made me a swimming pool. I mean, you know, it's sort of deep. It's deep enough to pull or plunge. Obviously, it's warm out, but this is spring fed. It comes straight out of the ground just up the hill, and it's very cold. So even if this is not the dead of winter, this is really cold. Ooh. It is really cold. <laughs> it's take your breath cold, even in May. This is obviously not permanent. Um, I didn't want, honestly, I didn't want Arthur to build anything like this. I have kids that can't swim and that just stresses me out. If something was close to the house, it would really stress me out for us to have any kind of like deep water. And I'd always be worried about them being out in the yard and then they couldn't just, you know, play. I'd have to be with them all the time. But I feel like this is far enough away from the yard. And we spent the whole day yesterday Sunday out here with them just playing and um, you know just telling them the rules and they all get it and that's good. What, we, what do you call it if it's not winter? Is it still, it's not polar plunge. A spring dip? I don't know. <laughs> oh it still takes my breath away. <laughs> I love that Arthur is so creative. He's always doing things like this. One time, actually a couple times, I was like, man, I would really, when I was pregnant, I'd be like, man, I really want a hot tub. One time he made a hot tub for me in the back of his pickup truck with tarps. Another time he made a hot tub for me using tarps again, but he strung them between like three or four small trees. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's so creative. As you can see, this is really far away from the house. <laughs> Chickens are looking well this morning. So we had two sick hens, as you remember, and one of them totally recovered, and one did die yesterday. I hate that I couldn't save that chicken. I mean, I'm not like totally heartbroken from the loss, but I just hate that I couldn't save her. <laughs> um, but that's part of having animals. You don't really know what to do for a problem until it happens, and I still don't know what to do with this problem. How are you? Good. <laughs> you want breakfast? Mm hmm Okay. It's supposed to storm all week, but starting today. So I figured it was the perfect time to get these tomatoes in the ground. This is just my first round. Hey, cuties. <laughs> the storm's over. I did that. What are you guys being? Rabbit ninja masters. <laughs> Rabbit Ninja Masters before 9 in the morning. Okay, so this is 18 Amish Paste tomatoes. There'll be many more coming. I have three rows that I'm planting. I'm planting only Amish Paste tomatoes this year, which makes a few people in the family sad. But the reason for that is I want to save the seed from them this year. Tomatoes do have to be separated from each other in order to save seed. I mean, there's other ways that you can save seed. Um, but I don't really know those methods and I don't really want to take a chance on it. I'm trying to only grow one variety of things um, and that's hard in some instances, but in this instance, this is what I'm doing. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Godwin leaves. What you working on there, girl? Picking pea greens. Do you like to eat them? Uh-huh. <laughs> I just think it's funny that they're eating them now that they're so tall because they're a little bit tough. I like them when they're short and tender. Oh yeah. 
Oh, I picked it a little bit early. That's okay. It'll still taste really good. Mmm. <sighs> There's nothing like strawberries out of the garden. Even that one that was a little bit unripe, bursting with sweetness and flavor. tarp really easily because I thought maybe he was under here. I plant my tomatoes about 18 inches to two feet apart. Um, we're gonna bury these tomato plants way deep. So this is a perfect day to plant these because overcast days just reduce the shock in your plants as opposed to a hot sunny day. Oh yeah. Arthur always tells me I plant tomatoes too close together and not deep enough, so I'm trying to do, do it right the first time this year. I'm going to plant this one up to about right here. And the reason I'm going to do that is because this, this plant will send out roots from the sides here, and that will actually give it a better start. Also, these guys need to be transplanted. You see how leggy they're getting? and that will help them so that they're not falling over like that. See how nice and straight this guy is standing up now? One thing that gave us successful tomatoes last year was that I aggressively pruned them and kept them from touching the ground. We have very wet summers, so we get a lot of blight here. There's a lot of other issues you can have with tomatoes. Um, we get those as well, but blight is the biggest one we've experienced. Anyways, it's raining. I better hurry up and get these tomatoes in the ground. What do you see? No, we're not going to touch it. What is it? Snake. Snake. What do they say? Snake. I know it's just a garter snake, but I don't like having snakes in my garden. I don't care if they're non-venomous or not. Every time I lift this tarp, that dang snake is there and it shocks me. No, I don't want you messing with it. He can see it from where he's standing. We aren't, let's not mess with it, okay? I really want Arthur to relocate it. It's been living in our garden this spring. Ugh. Gosh, I hate snakes so much. Ugh. There's another one, now there's two. Just pulled the tarp, thinking I was clear of being shocked by snakes. And there was another one. I used to be so afraid of them, even the non-venomous ones, that I would almost throw up. I've obviously gotten over that living where I live. Oh, there's another one! How many are you? Oh, one, two, three. Oh my gosh, now there's three. Okay. This is just too much. This is too much. This is too many snakes in my garden. It's too much. No, I'm gonna have daddy move them. All of them. No, you're not moving them. How come? Daddy's gonna do it. Arthur went to get wood chips, and as soon as he gets back, he's moving these snakes. Gosh. Just a reminder, these are just garter snakes. They are non-venomous, but they're driving me crazy. <laughs> no! Do you see the other one now? No. I see another. I found more. You wanna find more? I don't. On another note, my tomatoes look great. I still have three more to plant today, but I am not moving this tart back another inch till Arthur comes and does it. And instead I'm gonna plant flowers in these beds that are already growing and untarped. And I don't have to worry about snakes, hopefully. 
Just look, you're about to see one right now. Where'd it go? It was just right there. It must have gone under the tarp. Oh, where did it go? It was just there. There's three of them. There were two right where you're standing, and then one down there. My child is not afraid of snakes. Her daddy taught her that, not her mama. Oh, there it is. There's one of them's head right there. He is, I'm so glad he's here. I know you guys are going to make fun of me and think this is just hilarious that I'm afraid of these snakes. <sighs> but I'm so tired of being shocked by them every time I pull the tarp back. I have a job for you to do before you unload those. Hey! hey. Okay, can I talk to you for a minute? You know how you really love me? I need you to remove three snakes from my garden. I don't want to. I want them in the garden. Every time I move a tarp, they scare me. There's the three. The tarp's gonna be gone, and they'll find other places. Well, I actually need you. Okay, fine. Let's compromise. I need to plant some stuff here. Can you move this tarp all the way off for me, so I can plant? Because I'm afraid to do it at this point. You're supposed to plant tomato plants a lot deeper. Like, just bury them. What did I tell you guys? I think they're deep enough. I planted them really deep. These were super tall tomatoes. Once you edit this video, you'll see how much stem I planted. It was a lot of they stem. They look good. Just... I planted, these were really tall tomatoes. I planted them way deep. Okay. <laughs> right there, there's two. Oh, go away. Arthur's agreed to catch them in a bucket. I'm not having a snake pit in my garden. Come on, here, girl. Come on. I can't even film my camera from over there. One down. There's a big one here. There's a big one here. Where did the little one go? Here's the little one. Get the little one. It's hard to see it. Watch so it. I oh. see it. Oh! How did it get out? Get it before it comes to me. Come on, it's okay. Grace, get it, get it, get it. Wow, Mommy, it's tiny. It can't hurt you. <sighs> Is that all five? I don't yeah. know. Okay, let's find some more. Just move the tarp back. I'm sure you'll find five more. Or ten. Arthur's moving this tarp all the way off of all the beds. Granted, we have all that tarp up there, but Can you find another one? he's going to check to make sure. I mean, I need a plant here anyway, but he's going to check to make sure there's no more snakes right here. <sighs> really takes the joy out of the garden when you're afraid to be in it. Okay, granted, these are garter snakes. They're non-venomous. They're actually very beneficial to the garden, but I can't garden with five snakes, like, <laughs> right where I'm trying to work. I just, ugh. Fact. Garter snakes are venomous, they just don't hurt humans. <laughs> I need to go. There's another one! Woo! Gosh, I am such a wuss. <laughs> it is okay to laugh at me. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad my kids aren't afraid of snakes, but I am. Why don't you lay on the ground and we'll pour them over your body, and then you will be not afraid of snakes anymore. I will still, and then I'll be traumatized by snakes. Oh, on the fence? That one is a crazy one. Watch out! Uh. Why are you laughing? You know why. I just think it's all funny. <laughs> Film this, Mommy. They stink so bad. Yeah. Can you see them in there? Uh, smell my hand. Hand it to I me. I don't want to smell your hand. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is disgusting. The title of this video is going to be, We Found a Snake Pit in the Garden. Okay. 
Oh, come on, don't get out. Let me take a look at it. <laughs> no. just, I'm gonna go let them go in the woods. Mommy, you wanna go with Dad? Oh, they stink. Yeah. Farewell. Wanna say one last goodbye? Oh All right, my let gosh. go. Six snakes in a bucket. Nasty. What do you think? What do you think? No, you can't hold them. No. All right, it's raining. It's the perfect time, in my view, to fertilize all our greens and stuff. This is super concentrated fish fertilizer, and I would never apply it like this except when it's drizzling. It's, it's my favorite way to do this because I can quickly go through and spray this concentrated fish fertilizer on all the beds really quick. The rain will wash it off the plants so it doesn't burn them if it would because it's so strong, and then uh, it'll dilute it in the soil. You might not trust this method. I love this because I can literally hit all the beds in like 10 or 15 minutes with a small volume and then let the rain just wash it down into the soil. The other cool thing about this method is kids love it. And the, the boys just emptied two spray bottles and um, I'm gonna put these two more on and they got rained out though, so here we go. All right, and that took about two minutes to do a bed. So it might take me more like 20 minutes to do all of it, but not long. I'm gonna keep this up, but I'm gonna get this camera out of the rain because cameras don't really like the rain, even though they're actually surprisingly weather resistant. As we found out, we left a camera out in a rainstorm once when we were filming a time lapse and it survived. Camera will stay in my truck for right now. We have mulched the paths in about three quarters of our garden, and now I'm filling in a few spots. There's a little bit here, a little bit there. I already filled in up there and there. And after that, we just have this quarter of the garden left. And we've basically done three quarters of it. We have a quarter left. It's still a lot, at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, at least eight loads more. I don't think I can do that today. I'm gonna make a good effort to get several more. Ooh, so we can move on from this establishing of our beds and paths and actually plant our summer garden. <laughs> some new grass. I don't even entirely understand this grazing pattern because look at this patch she left here. It's thick, lush clover. I don't know why she's not eating this, but she's eating the short clover down to nothing. Whatever, we're gonna mow it when we're done. There's a cow bed. So this last section, I came back and mowed to knock all my seed heads off to stimulate kind of herbaceous growth rather than these tough seed stalks. And that's what I'm gonna to try to do for the whole pasture. I mean, you know as well as I do, if you mow your lawn and it rains, your lawn grows like crazy. And most of our lawns are actually the perfect example, if you don't mow them too short, of rotational grazing. You'd have even more lush grass if you mowed it about once a month. All right, let's do it. Let's get you on fresh grass. She was pretty impatient this morning because She's getting hungry, but there's some wiggle room because she does have stuff to eat. So she's just having to eat the stuff she doesn't want to. But we'll drop this wire down, get her onto this beautiful uh, fresh section down here, and she'll be happy in no time. Camera, stay there. Now it's time to mow this section. All 
All right, little Miss Alice is set up. She's got her food. She's got to run back to the back pasture where she's got water from the creek and minerals out there. And then this section of pasture is reset for a month from now. Hopefully we'll be able to make this grazing take a month and she'll hit this and it'll be nice grown out. So we'll see how this goes. I think this is the best thing to do. The rest of the day got away from us and we kind of stopped filming. What happened, we weeded and thinned in the garden. Bree worked in her flower garden. We picked our first salad from the garden. That was cool. That was all my thinnings from my romaine. And that's it, I think. Is that all? Felt like a long day to me. It was busy enough. So guys, it's been another great day in the homestead. Thanks for joining us. And we'll see you soon. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. The kids have been pretending to scare me with snakes all day. <laughs>